Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm here with some more from the circular collection that is available at Craft Stash, and these are all from Card Making Magic. So for today's card we're going to use one of the beautiful stencils, we're going to use this matching stamp and die set, on the inside of the card we're going to add a little verse and then on the front of the card we're going to put some die cut words. So with the stencils I'm going to use some embossing paste, some texture paste. Now this one has been done with a, a beige coloured texture paste and I've used this flourish, this elegant swirls stencil. Now for this one I've coloured my embossing paste with pink ink and I've used this beautiful filigree flowers one. And for this one I've simply added the texture paste to some card and then once it's been dry I've just buffed over it with some gold. So for my card I'm going to use the, um, the Swirls stencil. I've got a 5x7 card base and on the inside of that I will eventually add my stamp. And I've cut a little panel for the front that's going to sit on there and that will leave just a small border around each edge. So I'm going to put the stencil over the top of this. Now I will have to move this stencil further down once I've got this on so I need to be very careful. But with my texture paste I've also mixed in some of the gold gilding wax. I don't know if this is going to work, it's just an experiment but we'll see what happens. So I've placed my card on the cutting mat and I've created a little hinge at the top there with some tape. So I can just lift that up, put my paper inside and close it. Now with my wooden spatula I'm going to spread this paste all over this paper. So fingers crossed, I've never mixed um, gilding wax with a, a texture paste before so let's just hope that this works. So we're going to spread this down as far as we can taking off any excess as we go and we'll come all the way down here. Now once we get down towards the bottom I'm going to very carefully lift my stencil and turn my card around and then I'm going again very carefully to place it back at the bottom and continue adding the texture paste. So I have made a little bit of a mess at the bottom there but I'm not worried about that because we can always cover that with the flower. But now I need to get this stencil and my mat clean otherwise this is going to ruin my stencil. So everything has cleaned up very well, the texture paste and the gold gilding wax has come off, my top is clean and now I need to just leave this on one side to dry and hopefully it will stay shiny and then we'll come back and do the rest of the card. So to try and help it stay shiny what I've done is I've sprinkled the top of this with some clear embossing powder and we'll see what happens with this. Now I've never done this before so this could all end up in the bin but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So now let's heat that up with the heat tool. Too bad, I'm not disappointed with it. It's just a pity I smudged it all down here. And I have used embossing powder on top of texture paste before. The new ingredient with this for me is the, the gilding wax. And again, I can't say that I'm unhappy with the result. It's all dry now with the, um, the heat gun. And as it was drying, as I was heating it, you could see that it was bubbling. And that gives a really raised effect. And again, I'm not unhappy with that. That looks okay as well. So let's get on with the rest of the, the card. OK, 
Okay, so now we're going to do some stamping and some die cutting. So let's get the stamps ready first. Now I'm going to use a stamping platform for this because I want to do quite a lot of stamping of these flowers. So I'm choosing the stamps that I want to use and I want these solid ones here. Then I want the leaves and we'll keep them separate from the other bits those are the leaves and these are the little stamens that go in the middle so we'll have these along here now the only ones I haven't used are these that are the outer um, outline of the flower so we'll use them after let's get these done first so we'll pick these up with our lid use inks to cover the different parts. So I've got pink for the flower, yellow for the stamens and green for the leaves. So on the flowers I'm going to add the pink. On the leaves I'm adding the green. On those stamens I'm going to dot some of this yellow. Now I'm making sure I don't get it on any of the other parts and then once we've done that we can stamp all this down on our card. So I'm going to stamp it twice just to deepen the colour. Okay, and I'm quite happy with that. That looks nice. So once we've done that side, we can turn it around and we can do the other side exactly the same. Now, before you move this out of your platform, take the outline dies and you're going to line these up on your bases, on the pink base to the flower. And we're going to stamp these down in black ink. Now because this is a very deep black ink, I only need to do it the once. And then once that's done, we can flip this around and do those on the other side. And there we've got our beautiful flowers and leaves stamped out and ready to die cut. So while I have the stamping platform out, I've taken the long leaves and I've added them to the inside of the card and I've used the verse from the bottom of the substantial sentiments that says good friends are hard to find, harder to leave and impossible to forget and I'm going to stamp those in the middle. And if it doesn't stamp properly, leave everything in place and re-stamp, re-ink. Make sure you press it down. So now we can do some die cutting. Now the dies to these, um, this set, they're solid and you can't see through them to position this correctly. So the best thing to do is on some plain paper is to cut these out first. So once you've used your dies and you've cut the shapes into some spare card, keep these for another project, you may need them later. 
But this now is going to help you to place the dies over the top of this where you want them. So take your template and place it over your stamping. Then take the die that corresponds and place it in, in the middle. In the, And you'll feel it lodge into the shape. And now you can die cut that and that will give you the exact shape of the flower. Now once you've done that and you've got your shape cut, you can reposition the, um, the little stencil, the little template over the next one. And you can die cut that exactly the same way by just adding in the die, slotting it into place tape it down if need be and run that through your machine and you're going to continue doing that with this this template over all the stamping images that you've done so to add a little bit more color into what are white leaves with just a green edge around them i'm taking a finger dauber and i'm taking the ink that i use to color the leaves to stamp the leaves and i'm just going to add some color into these shapes and you can do the same with your stamens and your pink flowers if you find any white bits in your die cutting that you don't like so this is the template that we use to cut out our shapes for our flowers these are the bits that we have left over from cutting that template now if you keep all those together along with your dies in the pack you will always have that template ready for the next time you want to do this design. So these are all the pieces now that we have ready to put to our card. This is the base and we've stamped a verse inside with a little leaf to decorate it. This is the piece that we've used with the embossing paste and the gold gilding cream. And these are the flowers. Now I'm just going to put some shape into these flowers before I add them to my card. So I'm just going to stroke the ball tool down the leaves, down the petals, just to put some curve into those, into those petals. And then when we turn it over we can push down into the centre part of the flower. And that's going to sit on the front of the card. Now we've got two large ones and two small ones. And we're going to build these up into one flower. So I'll repeat this process with all of the, the petals and the stamens. Just flip them over and run your ball tool around it. And then push it down in the centre. And there you'll have a little shaped centre for your flower. Now this will make you two different sizes of flowers with the small stamens going into the centre. So this is your large one and that's the small one. And there's two different sizes but I'm going to do mine all combined. So I'm doing the large one together on the bottom and I'm offsetting the petals. And then I'm going to put this one into the centre of that and again I'm offsetting the petals and then I'm going to use a large stamens and a small stamens and I'm going to pop those in the middle and that's the flower that I'm going to add to my card and to hold so this panel flat I've added some foam tape to the back it's just craft foam and I've added that to the back and that will keep that quite level so we'll add this to the centre of the card and just leave a small border around the edges now once that's dry and we'll press it down to keep it flat that will dry nice and level for you to add your flower to. So I have my panel glued to my card. I have my flower. Now this is where I messed up if you remember so we need to cover that as much as we can and I've cut some extra leaves to help me do that. So I'm going to add these leaves under there. The flower will come this way I'm going to put a leaf there to cover that. We'll add another leaf up there to go up to the other end. And we'll put this leaf down here. So that covers up the mistakes that I made, or the mess that I made. 
and we'll put these in here just along there and that will cover up the mistake at the bottom. Now I've got one of these left so I can either trim it down and add it in somewhere else or I can save it for another project. There we are. So we'll glue that in place and then we'll add our sentiment. So into the centre of the flower I've just added a little bit of glue and then I've sprinkled in some glitter and that gives me a nice glittery centre to my flower. Now from the mindful words I've taken hello friend and I have cut this out and I'm going to add this now to the top of my card just along here and that will correspond then with the sentiment that's inside. So there we have the finished card with Hello Friend written on it. We've got the large flower that we can spike up with its glittery centre. I've added the leaves around to just to cover up the mistake that I made with the, um, the, the textured paste underneath. I've got a sentiment inside and that's a 5 by 7 card. So the items that I've used are the Elegant Swirls for the background. I've used the matching um, spiky flowers and leaves and that's a stamp and a die set. The sentiment inside has come from this um, Substantial Sentiments stamp set and I've used the mindful words for the front. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please join me on the next one and I'll see you again soon. And why not subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.